Is this the end of Chris Froome? Now it's the Tour of Alps 2022, stage one, Froome dogs turning up and Froome finished seven minutes, 20 seconds down. Now, obviously I don't know all the details, maybe you worked on the front, maybe you didn't, but I wanna go and show why I think this shows that Froome will never be competitive again. Now, I don't want Froome not to be competitive again, but I think we just have to have some analysis. So anyway, obviously he had a, a big crash in 2019 uh, much like myself, actually, um, but we'll, we'll ignore the comparisons to me. But anyway, basically, he was quite strong. So you see, like, UAE Tour, you know, he got he got back racing pretty early on, and he crashed at the end of June, um, and by February, he was racing again. Okay, UAE Tours is not hard. Then, obviously, you had the Rona lockdowns and all the rest of it, so there was no racing. Um, but then, in La Route de Ossitani, he did quite a good turn. He actually ended up finishing, like, 34th, which, if you look where he was finishing with, same time as Tal Gagan Hart, Bruno Amarai, Christian Lord Eiking, like, some pretty decent guys. Like, you know, he'd been Pierre Latour that day. Like, do you know what I mean? He was competitive, and he could do good performances. He did the same he then did the Dauphiné. Again, he was on domestique duty. Nothing crazy. But if we look at, again, at the Col de la Porte, okay, he finished 49th. But if you sort of look at the company he finished with, you know, Castro Viejo, Kwiatkowski, they all obviously cruised in. Lutschenko, Jan Backlund's like, you know, he wasn't embarrassingly far down in the Dauphiné, which is obviously a very high level race. And he did some work to, okay, he didn't look competitive, but, you know, he still looked okay. They decided not to race him at the Tour, which again was fine. Terreno, nothing of note. Um, the TTs are something that's odd, but I think he just doesn't try too hard. Anyway, he went to the Welter, and okay, again, the result's not crazy, but he did do some work. He did help, and you can see like 57th, 60th, like nothing bonkers, but you know, he got around a Grand Tour, which I think is pretty impressive performance considering he hadn't raced Grand Tour for two years. He'd had the big injury, there was Corona and all the rest of it. But then we just look after 2021, and he just hasn't got better. And I think that's that's the thing for me, okay? He got 22nd in the flat sprint stage, but you look at Jebel Jais, which is a long climb in the UAE Tour. He is 42nd. You know, he's, he's not getting better. Yeah, okay, he finished only a minute 42 down, but if you know the climb, it's really flat. It's quite hard to get drops. I mean, uh, Ghana finished the same time as the leaders this year. So, you know, you could say he's starting to look better, but if we look all in all, as the results, as the season progresses... You know, you got top 10 in the mountains classification. He did get in the break in the Tour of the Alps last year. But again, nothing's looking that promising. Here he goes to Romandy. Again, nothing looking promising. One position in the top 50. Like, and this is the thing. There's no real building up to. There's no, you know, this is it. So he got 39th in this stage in the Dauphiné. But again, it's not like, it's more how you race than anything else. And if you look at this one, um, he was still like two and a half minutes down. Okay, finished similar to... Um, Warren Bargui, but it wasn't like the hardest mountain stage around. It wasn't terrible performance from Froome, but you know, you wouldn't expect Froome to get been getting dropped by Valgren, Hessing, who'd done a big turn. I mean, you just wouldn't expect it. So this is the, my point. And then obviously the tour I'm gonna ignore because he crashed. And I think it's harsh, you know, he had a real tough day out just finishing. So I'm not gonna criticize him about the tour. But then Deutschland Tour he raced, he wasn't that good. Uh Tour of Slovakia, which is a pretty low level race to be honest for Froome Dog, couldn't crack a top twenty in GC. And it just hasn't got better. And then he DNF three Italian one-day races at the end of the year. This year, he had his knee injury. He came back to Internet Settimani Internazionale Coppia Bartoli. You're going to see more of the highlights coming up this week. Again, completely anonymous. Literally did nothing, which is fine. But, like, if you're a domestique, but if you're Chris Froome, like, his level should be the point that he would win races easily. So if we go back to, like, his heyday, we look at 2015, you know, the first race he turned up to in Rouge del Sol, he absolutely battered um, everyone, um, which you might say, okay, that's harsh because Rouge del Sol, he prepared well. He turned up the Herald Sun Tour in February and absolutely destroyed everyone. Like, you know, his level was ridiculous, even in February. And this is the point is that it's like, it's not that he's, you know, even if we go back to 2013 when he won his first tour, um, Tour of Oman, he was flying, like, you know, he was just good all year round, and the point I'm going to say is that if he can't be good, you know, today in the Tour of the Alps, he finished seven minutes back, he finished with Vinicius Rangel Costa, who was in the early break, you're finishing with people who it's first year professional, Callum Johnson, you're finishing with people who've obviously done a work, like Andrew Amador, Brandon Rivera, like, you're finishing seven minutes down, you're getting battered by Ben Swift, Ben Swift is not a GC climber. You're getting bad by people who you really shouldn't be. And you might say, okay, Charlie, well, it's a very hard stage. It just isn't. 
like, okay, it's hard objectively if you're an amateur, but if you're a professional, this isn't a crazy hard stage. Like, you look at the first bit, 240 normalized, so nothing. We look at the first climb, okay, it's a bit harder, six watts per kilo for 20 minutes. Like, that's tough, but if you're a froom dog, you'd expect to get around that, and then another, like, 5.8 for 35 minutes, another six watts per kilo here. So, okay, it's not easy. I'm not gonna say it's easy, but two six watts per kilo climbs, you know, you'd expect him to get over again. Um, this is a different person, Lenny Martinez. His was on only on like 5.3 for the first climb. So you can see there's the slightly different watts per kilo. I think potentially this boy, John Aguirre, I think is might have his watts per kilo over estimated. So 5.3 sounds more reasonable. And this climb again was, was harder, 5.6 for 20 minutes. But it's not that hard. I mean, like, you know, it's not like it's halfway through the stage. I mean, they soft tapped at 2.30 normalized. I mean, if you can't get around this stage seven minutes back, you're just not going to be competitive again. Like, that's just the way it is. Because even Froomdor got 90% condition, should be getting around front group. No worries. And you might say, okay, look at the end, 5.8 for 10. Come on, I ask, you know, that's not that big. It really isn't. Um, you know, it shouldn't be an issue for Froome Dog, And this is the thing I'm worried about. He just hasn't got better. And I want the Froome Dog to come back. I really like him as a rider. He's exciting. He does attack a lot compared to the um, some of the racing we've seen in the Tour. His, his Tour wins were always mildly exciting, at least. There was always some drama. There was always him getting dropped. There was always him coming back, attacking crosswinds, etc. But I just don't see it. I, I just think it's really hard to justify how he's going to get better. Like, what actions is he going to do to get better? Okay, he had a knee injury this year, but, you know... It's not going to take you two years to come back. Like, you've got worse since the welter. The welter, he was he did stop. Now he doesn't do anything. Like, you never see him in a race. You never see him doing anything. So I think this is why I just think the Froome Dog's gone. It's sad to say it, but, you know, these Watts, you know, these guys climb, all climb the same group. These Watts are not big. The, these aren't seven, six and a half for 20 Watts, and you're like, fair enough, he's going to get spat. This is like 5.6, 5.8 maybe. That's it. And then the first climb again, like even less. I mean, yeah, I, I just think, unfortunately for Froome Dog, I think this is probably the end. Um, I hope what he does is he says, I want to win one last race. He goes all in and wins one last race. But yeah, I, I just don't see how he can come back, to be honest. How can he come back from this level? Because it's not that he's close. It's not that he's top 10. It's the fact that I don't think he could finish if he went for GC now in the tour, like top condition. He's not coming top 20, probably. So it's real tough for him. I'm not sure what he's going to do. I don't know if he can reinvent himself or something else. Is he just happy to be a domestique the whole time? But there's no way that he should be finishing so far down on a, on people who are good, but not that good. I mean, come on, Ben Swift is, is a strong guy, but I mean, he did finish top 20 in the Giro 28 to 2020, but you know, it's not, it's not that hard. Do you think, is he coming here for GC? Is he not coming here for GC? But What's the point of talking about the tour if you're in the tour of Alps, which is like three month, two months away uh, from July and you finish seven minutes down on the first stage? I mean, there's just no way you're being competitive. Um, I don't know what his upcoming races are. Romandie and then Dauphiné and then Tour. I mean, unless he has a big turnaround between Romandie and Dauphiné, which, okay, you'd say is, is two months and then he's got... He's got um two months to turn it around, maybe, but I just don't see it because it's not like, you know, the guys who are racing here are in top condition. Some of them are, they're going for their Giro, but like, you know, a lot of them won't be in crazy, crazy condition. So yeah, anyway, I think it's going to be tough for the Froome Dog. Let me know what you think below. Can Froome Dog ever come back? Can he finish a top 10? Can he finish a top 20 at the Grand Tour? I think it's going to be really hard, Um, which is a shame to see. Um, And hopefully, you know, the boy can get back to a good level, but I think based on this performance, based on the whole season's performance, I just don't see it happening. I just don't see how he can gain half to one watt per kilo. He's got to gain, um, you know, at the end of a race. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video. And we'll see you in the next one.